Welcome, my friends. It is my consequences show here for my Oscar predictions. As you know, with my prediction shows, I have consequences. I get these suggestions of bad movies from other you reviewers and people around me, and I use those as movies that I'm going to watch for however many I get wrong during my predictions. So this year, luckily, I broke over 500. That's right, I got five correct, only four wrong. Uh, and so I've only got to watch two bad films that are I not looking forward to looking at watching these at all. There's The Apparition and Stolen. Yes, a Nicolas Cage movie that was like here in a blink of an eye. I'm going to have to watch those two films. So not too bad. I did a lot better than my You Reviewers predictions show, but that shows you how unpredictable they are versus the Oscars. Though the Oscars did throw me in with a loop with their Jennifer Lawrence pick, though congrats to her. I'm glad uh, Mr. Waltz. I'm glad he won, though I'm surprised they went with him. I didn't go with him because I didn't think, you know, second nomination, second award, they were going to give him back to back like that, but he did. He deserved it definitely for his role in uh, Django Unchained, and congrats to him as well. Uh, some things about the Oscars quick. I did do a Google Hangout, which I appreciate all who came out for the Google Hangout, and I do apologize for those who weren't able to connect. I may be doing some more Hangouts, so look for the more information on that on the channel or on our Facebook page as well. Uh, I will be doing some other Hangouts. I got some wild ideas for that, so sorry for those of you who couldn't get through, but those who did make it, thank you. It was a lot of fun spending four hours with you talking movies and watching the Oscars, which you know, had its ups and downs. It was like, oh, here, here's your award. Get off the stage. Now we're going to do our long skit. Here, here's our award. Off the stage. You know, and that frustrated me a little. I'm like, come on, you know. And Seth MacFarlane was, was okay. You know, I don't know. It was fun seeing William Shatner in the captain's uh, uniform again. I'll admit that. Uh, one thing I will disappointed for sure was the musicals medley celebrating musicals over the last decade and they picked three you know <laughs> I mean there were so many more that were out and they could have do it a little bit better medley but nope they only medley they only did three songs uh, three different uh, musicals so that was a little disappointment there and uh, some other things as well really I mean it's a four-hour show they could probably whittle it down a little more if they tried uh, but who knows what they're going to have next year, folks. I do know that hopefully I will still be here, and I hope you will be too. Thank you for all your support for all these years I've been on, almost six and a half now. My 350 plus uh, subscribers, I love you all, guys. Thank you for your support and your time, and I hope... Uh, folks who are just watching me for the first time subscribe check out my other reviews i'm all over the place i'm on a couple of podcasts now as well astro radio z with their carrie and Corey edler i'm on there regularly now i'm also on www.jedbundy.com get some written work i'm trying my hand at writing reviews uh, i'm bordello of horror on the vortex and livestream.com uh, yeah, you got the list down below. I I really love movies. I have a passion for them, and I'm, I just love sharing my passion with all of you, and I'm so glad you stick around to listen to me babble here uh, in front of the camera. So thank you again, folks, and until next time, keep that ticket stop.